Hope will stay to his left. We're going to take a break. Five minutes, 11 seconds into this second period. It's 2-0 Columbus. One minute, 37 seconds of power play time remain for the River Dragons. Back with more in a moment. Second period presented by WOW Internet. This is River Dragons Hockey. Louisiana, Harvard, South Alabama, and more. Get your Troy baseball season tickets now at TroyTrojans.com slash tickets. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. All right, we're back on River Dragon Saki here, and... Just past five minutes into this second period, Tom Callahan here with you. And uh, I know we're having a couple issues going on here with the video side of things. And as I mentioned before, we are indeed working to try to fix those for you as fast as we possibly can. River Dragons on the power play here, leading 2 nothing. Right side, here's McDonald, walks it in front with a shot. And that one ends up in the netting after it deflects off Babin. And the River Dragons are going to change up the power play unit here. Bersani, Jemayev, Hunter, Wickline, and Slahetka step out. Draw one back by Motor City, but stolen away more. Sends it to the line, and that'll be picked up. By Jemayev quickly over the left side. Slahetka with a wrist shot, and that one just tipped wide. Good battle in front by Bersani to provide the screen. Quick line on the near side. Trying to play it up top. Puck comes around to the left point. Slahetka. Jemayev back to Slahetka. Left point. Cross ice feed. That one is picked off and cleared down the ice. Cole going to wander out to play it. He'll swing it across. Jemayev a loop in front of his own net. He'll go up the right side to Hunter. Hunter in over the Motor City line, into the slot, feeds it down low, tipped on goal, Babin, the save, they score! Second attempt on the rebound, it's Cody Wickline who's able to put it through the wickets on Babin, a power play goal, and it's 3-0 River Dragons. Well, how about that for your 100th professional point? Cody Wickline, power play goal. And for Wickline, it's his 15th of the season. And that's a big marker right there. Some insurance, 622 into the period. Wickline is 100th pro point, and it's a big one. Power play goal, River Dragons one for two with a man advantage now. Puck pushed back into that Columbus end of things. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the Motor City response is here. As a pass ahead, Petrantonio left side looking for Swan. Up in the left wing, Andrioli. Driving into the corner after it. Andrioli stops. Looking for Swan in front of backhand by Andrioli. Babin saving the left post. And here we go. A little pile. A little pushing, a little shoving. Linesman get in between Swan and Delaney. Meanwhile, Andrioli over there, eyeball and Coash. And they will be separated as well. Wells now having a chat with Swan. It's 
see if they're going to keep this face off inside. They should, and they will. They'll keep it to the left of Babin. Face off is one back by Motor City as we approach seven minutes into this second period, cleared to center. Turn right back in, here's McDonald ahead to Hunter on the backhand, but Hunter's hooked up and a penalty coming against Motor City. And that was Rotondi, and that was pretty obvious. He didn't agree with it, but I mean, stick parallel, Andy, not only did he hook Hunter, but lifted his stick. This is just not a good penalty, like it was unnecessary. And the River Dragons, I'll tell you what, all this, the penalties that have been taken, two hooks and a trip, are because of the hustle of the Columbus forwards. And that's how they're ending up with these power plays here. Motor City is having to catch them. So the River Dragons back on to the Loft power play. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stub for two for one cover. Only at the Loft in downtown Columbus. River Dragons up for two of the man advantage. Here's McDonald. Steps through traffic, feeds it over to the far side. There's a shot. Babin save. Rebound in front. They jam away. And Milam on the backhand able to clear it out of the zone. Bouncer down the ice at Colgan. We'll leave aside for Petrantonio, Storjahan, Doe, McDonald, and more out there. This first power play unit. Bouncing puck on the far side. More knocked down, but he tried to put it in. And it's flung back down by Motor City right into the chest of Colgan, who will just catch it and hang on. As he had some Motor City traffic, and now behind the play, Moore gets run into over there, and that's going to bring a bit of a pile. I don't know if we're getting a penalty out of that or not. I think Kyle Moore is going to the box. And that's the thing. You know, when power plays are 3 nothing, you have to be very conscious of that. The pendulum's going to go back the other way. You just can't do anything stupid. Moore's going to end up probably with a roughing call here, I'm guessing. Oh, no, they give him unsportsmanlike. And Moore better stop yapping and get in the box so he doesn't pick up 10. I know the frustration can get the better of you, but when you're leading 3 0 and you're on a power play, you can't take that food out of the mouth. So more into the box on sportsmanlike conduct. And so now it means four on four for the next minute, 30 seconds, and then a brief River Dragons penalty kill as Kyle Moore into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. And so we'll see if the River Dragons are able to spring him out in due time. Quick lines goal, by the way. Hunter picks up his third point of the night, along with Bersani on the assist. So a lot of room to roam out there, and Hunter's out there along with McDonald up front. Motor City dumps it into the Columbus end of things. River Dragons looking to move it back the other way. Columbus pass ahead, eludes McDonald. And so the Rockers will regroup. Under a minute to go in this four-on-four -four situation. 8-10 into the second. 3-0, Columbus in the lead. Colgan out to play it around up the near side. And now the River Dragons try to escape the zone. Hunter couldn't get out of there with a the puck. Behind the net it goes. Chased to the right side by Underwood. Underwood will stop, wait out the pressure. We'll find Bockwell. But Columbus is separated by a lot right now. And now here's a feed. Hunter in behind the D. And on the forehand shot. Glove save Babin as Hunter tried to go high. Glove. And it was knocked down and covered. Great stop by the Rockers netminder to keep a 3 0. And a brilliant chance for Ryan Hunter to net his fourth point of the game. Wow, that was close. Draw to the right of the Rockers net. Back towards Slahetka. And now it's Motor City ending up with the puck in the corner. Milam turning back with it. And now he'll get it back from his D partner, Fields. Milam up the left side, passed the center back for him. Ended up with Fields. 
Field skating it ahead. In over the line, tried to split the D, turned away. Now there's a shot right into the chest protector of Colgan as Fields to the net. And now here we go. Duncan and Fields, and they wrestle each other down before they got any punches away, but the mitts definitely came off. Well, they haven't seen each other in 10 months, but the distaste has come back quite naturally. These two playoff rivals from a year ago. Nine minutes even on the time of the penalties here, and it looks like they will indeed even up. So it'll stay four on four for five seconds, and then it's going to be a 30-second power play once Rotondi's out of the box. Moore is in there for the next 30. Face-off will be to the left of Colgan. Draw one back, Gill in the corner. Trying to feed that one around to the near side. And now out to center, here's the lead. Petrantonio up now short-handed into the slot, and he was caught from behind, trying to let the shot go. Puck still almost drifted on goal. Nice job by Petrantonio tying his man up, forcing a turnover at the points. La heck of the shot forced a blocker save from Babin. And now back the other way. Here come the Rockers. Let up the left side, and that puck will be dumped in. Colgan will steer it aside for Gill. Gill tried to clear, blocked up in the air. Time ticking down on the power play for the Rockers. And out of that penalty box is Moore. Now lead ahead. Moore's got a breakaway. Moving in on goal. Kyle Moore to the backhand. Shot down by Babin. Oh, Babin just in the splits, able to drag the left hand, and now 2 on the other way. Here's Conway in. Colgan forces him wide on the stick side. End to end, back and forth, breakaways. Now another pick in center. It's Storjahan up the left side. He cuts it on, goal to the back end, and it hit the post. It stays out. Now it goes in. It was in. Storjahan scores on the backhand. Babin saying it didn't go in. The referee saying it did. I thought it hit the post and came out, but apparently it hit the pad inside the net, just inside the post, and came out. So Storjahan does score. Ten oh eight time of the goal, and that was a crazy track meet. Ten oh eight. Time of the goal. And right now they're talking about it over there at the penalty box. I don't know if they, I don't know if they talk to the goal judge. They have a goal judge down there in the end. I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure where the goal light is. And whatever the case is here. We're going to drop the puck at center at some point, or are we? We're still talking about it. Well, they want to go to a media timeout. You're not supposed to go to a media timeout after a break, or after a goal, pardon me. So now they're still talking about it over at the booth right now. I know there's a lot of talk up here as we're trying to figure it out. The referee's pointing at the dot, saying it's a goal. Nope, it's a goal. And Justin McDonald going over there to try to figure out what was going on. So it is a goal, 10-08. It will count for the 16th of the year for Storjahan. And it's 4-0 River Dragons. Here's Conway trying to move it ahead and Rioli on it. So again, now Motor City, you got to find the response here if you're Motor City. This one's slipping away if you don't step back into it quickly here. 
This is an icing call coming up. No, they wave off the icing against Columbus. Nine and a half to go in the second period. Four nothing your score. And now the Rockers back with it. Here's Delaney behind the net. Motor City looking to move it ahead. Turn back in behind the net and Swan up on the four check here. Played ahead, Conway left side, Coash with a lead, and that one turned away at the line. Andrioli looping back with it on the right wing. Puck pushed back into the Columbus end of things. It ends up in behind the net, onto the near side corner, and Andrioli ended up kind of running into Swan there as they were both trying to throw the shoulder at the same time. Shot in on goal, handled by Colgan. Andrioli in the far side, wrapped up in the corner. He pulls onto the pile with the puck, gets to the line, not any further, knocked away, but now Swan rolls it out to center, chipped into the right wing side. Here's Bersani trying to fight his way in. Ends up around on the near side. Puck to the line, not out, kept in by Underwood. Into the left wing corner. Around to the right point, Slahetka. Feeding it down low for Bersani. Onto the near side, here's Moore. Bersani tried to feed it back in space, left wing, Hunter. And it goes around behind the net to Mike Wynn. Wynn cutting over the left side in his own end. Eight minutes to go here in the second. 4-0 River Dragons. Wynn on the left wing. Chips it in past Lahetka into the corner. Gill back up the far side. Kyle Moore looking ahead. Flips it in the air. Knocked down before it got to McDonald by a high stick. And that'll get us to a break. 7.48 to go in the second, 4-0. Columbus in the lead. We'll be right back with more in a moment. And this is the second period brought to you by WOW Internet on River Dragons Hockey. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich. A golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee. And a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. All right, we're back 7.48 to go in this second period. And the second period is presented by WOW Internet. Proud to be a sponsor of the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Face off coming up outside the Motor City Rockers blue line. 4-0 Columbus. Still waiting for the call on the assist there in that store, Jahan goal. River Dragons possessing the puck back in their own end. Here's Gill trying to move it ahead. In over the line, Gill into the left wing corner. McDonald over after it. Slot Hunter shot right pad save Babin. On the left half wall, Hunter on it again. McDonald trying to wrap it in front. That one was blocked. Hunter in the high slot, put up to the line. Slahat got it, couldn't keep it in. He gloves it down, walks it back in. Right side, try to leave it for McDonald. Nice job by Vanderweel on the back check to steal it back. Now back in the left side, here's a shot in on goal. And Colgan out on the angle to make the glove save. He'll hold on, 7.08 to go in the second, 4-0 Columbus. Petrantonio out there now, along with Doe and Jameev. And it'll be Duncan and Underwood for the face off to the right of the River Dragons net. Oh, 
Cleared to the line, not out, held in over to the right point. Wells with a shot wide of the net. Cleared up to the line again, Wells holding it in. There's Conway with a shot and a glove save there. As Colgan holds on to it. Draw stays in the River Dragon zone to the left of the Columbus cage. Coash in against Jamea for the faceoff here. And that draw him back in the corner. Duncan around the far side. Petrantonio off the glass, high in the air, and actually hit that fan hanging over the ice there, but play continues. Motor City will back all the way into its own end here. So they try to break out at center, tip down into the near side corner. Colgan after it, will leave it there for Duncan. Duncan looks up the left side. River Dragons trying to leave the zone here. They can't do it, turn over the slot. Now it's swept out, nice reach there by Underwood. Right side, Jamea poking it ahead. Petrantonio into the right side in space. Tied up with Milam, tried to center. Jamea backhands off the side of the net. Taken away there by Rotondi. And it's back to the River Dragons line. Here's Duncan ahead. Petrantonio on it. In on the left wing side. Long wrister in and he scores. Josh Petrantonio with a wrister from range. And Babin just muffed that one. It tipped off the edge of his mitt. And Babin is upset with himself. A puck he should have had. Boy, that one he'll want back for sure, but it's 5-0 Columbus. And so for Josh Petrantonio, he is now at 349 pro points. And for Petro, that is his 18th goal of the season. And it comes right at the 14-minute mark of period number two. So 5 nothing Columbus. And the lead grows. And Columbus moving it ahead. They'll dump it into the corner of Bouncer. Played on to the near side. Left point held in. And that one missed the net there. Off of Bersani comes to center. Now off the right side. Here comes Wynn. Win in with a shot, deflected away to the far wall. Kept in down for the left point, wrapped around behind the net. Bach will on it near side. He pops it ahead. Storjahan up. He's got Wickline going to the net. Storjahan rolling puck, lets the shot go. Babin the save. Boy, never a bad idea to shoot a rolling puck. You never know what kind of action you're going to get, how it's going to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge after you let it go. And right there, you have to appreciate that uh, if you're Storjahan, that, that's that's an impossible pass. You just can't ask that of a guy in a two-on-one. You got to let it go, and he did. So smart play. Petrantonio's goal with the assists going to Austin Doe. That keeps Dozer's point streak alive, and also Hunter Bersani. And Bersani picks one up as well here. River Dragons go back to pressuring in the Motor City end. Puck around behind the goal. As the Rockers trying to clear it out, cannot. Andrioli on the right side fed to the slot, but there was nobody there for it. Puck is cleared away to center. Now finds his way back towards Delaney on the right side. He'll tip it into the corner. Colgan out to play it. Right back up the far side. Kept in by Motor City. They look to center. Pass deflected away around the dasher. It goes. Chipped out and out to him on developing. Here's Andreoli, right side, walks in, tried to feed Swan, and the pass defended beautifully. Puck tipped away, and now lead too far for Conway. He can't get to it. Gill ties up, and he ends up wrapping it around to the near side. Another stretch pass going the other way. Andreoli knocked it out of the air, but couldn't control it. You know, it's funny, Jerome Bichard, head coach of this River Dragons team, said before the game, I don't want to get into a track meet with these guys, but a couple of times it has opened up that way, going either way. Nice D by Gill right there. As he put the hip check in on Conway, kept Conway from being able to break to the middle, kept the body out of it, removed the man from the puck. But right now the River Dragons going to work in the offensive zone. Here's a chance for McDonald. Right pad save there by Babin. Into the slot. Hunter with a shot. And again, Babin, another save out on the angle. The River Dragons are just peppering the shots on goal here in this second period. 3.55 remaining 
here in the WOW Internet second period. We'll take a break and come back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. <laughs> Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Gosh. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. And we return here in the second period brought to you by wow internet and of course wow internet proud to sponsor river dragons hockey once again this season team up with wow for fast home internet for 30 dollars per month it's a good deal for good sports fans go dragons let's take a break 10 seconds along the network step aside station identification you're listening to Dragons Hockey on WKCN 1640. Well, if you're driving your car in an echo chamber, that's what the illegal ID sounds like. River Dragons try to push the face off towards the net. It goes behind McDonald on it into the slot. Hunter going to leave it off to the left point. Block will back to Hunter left side of the near dot. Try to center. Block came back to him. Left point, Bockwell. Bockwell, his shot blocked as well. Motor City really trying to do a good job again in front of Pucks here in this second period as they push it back down the other way. Columbus to the regroup here. 327 and counting to go in the second. 5 0 your score. And now to be cleared off the glass, back out to center. Hunter. On the near side, and it's turned over. Back in come the Rockers, chipped into space. Delaney tipped it on goal. Colgan hangs on with the paddle down. And Brendan Colgan hanging on to that one. Delaney breaking through the middle there. A little chip into space there from Gulo, trying to lead him ahead. And the puck at least directed in on that, but Brendan Colgan, solid job in the net here tonight. And the River Dragons with a 5-0 lead here over Motor City. Trying to inch a little bit closer to clinching that playoff berth, which they would do with a single point here tonight with either a loss of any single point by the Zydeco or the River Dragons picking up a point here minimum tonight. Puck is cleared on down the ice. A roller that win will chase back to his own end. He'll play it back across, and Vanderweel will wheel in front of his own net. Rockers on the breakout here to center, but put it right into the body of Storjahan. He'll curl off on the near side. Deflected down Bersani, and unable to get to that in time. Bersani saying, I tipped it. I thought he did tip it, but they call it icing. So Koash will get an offensive zone draw here. Let's see who's going to take it for the River Dragons. Looks like it's going to be Bersani. Draw to the left of Colgan. 2.49 to go here in the second period. Face off, tied up with the dot, helped behind the net by Duncan. Slahetka, far side, Wickline. Wickline back to the near side. Conway tipped the pass, chipped it in. Front bouncing puck is forced behind the net. Conway on the roller, trying to put it up top. Tied up with the far side. They dig away at it over there, and finally we get the whistle. Player down on top of the puck. We had a, a spate, I guess, of the rough stuff. Eh, maybe 10 minutes ago. Real time, not game time. Probably more like five or six minutes ago game time. But since then, since those penalties were called, we really haven't seen much. It's really kind of calmed down. So now the draw to the left of Colgan. Controlled by the River Dragons as they look to get that one up high in the air and flip it onto there. 
Colton will turn it back out to center. Columbus must regroup. Gill left side, jammed down by Petrantonio. Colton watched by Jamaev. Jamaev steals it away, far corner. Fed to the right point, held in, long shot coming in, bounced in front. Nice save on the redirect there by Babin with Austin Doe looming in front of the net. By the way, we mentioned earlier Austin Doe picking up an assist. He now has nine straight games with an assist and 12 straight games with a point. And so congratulations to Doe for extending his scoring streak. Kyle Moore's scoring streak has gone to 15 games. Justin McDonald's has gone to 26. Cody Wickline picks up his 100th pro point here tonight with a goal. River Dragons up 5-0. There's a shot in off that faceoff. Whistled wide on the blocker side to find the glass cleared out. Gill on to the right side. Lead ahead. Jamaev has to pick it off the dasher. He'll move in. Jamaev in the left wing with a shot. Steered aside off the stick of Babin. Now centered a roller in Babin. Says, I will just flop the mid on that. And hang on with 142 to go in the second. See if Columbus goes for the change, they will not. They will keep Petrantonio Doe and Jamaev out there for this offensive zone opportunity. Again, in case you didn't catch off the top of the broadcast, Carter Shinkarik, who by the way is running the camera for us tonight, doing a heck of a job, thanks Carter. But he's serving a one game suspension. So the River Dragons, five defensemen tonight. And instead of 10 forwards, they're running 11 forwards. Doe will chip it in on the right side, into the corner. Petrantonio on a rolling puck. Try to curl back up the wall. He's tied up. Puck to the line, not out. Kept in, fed across. Gill left point, his wrister into traffic. That one never reached the net. Motor City quickly the other way. Tipped down, and it went right into Gill's body. He just gets it back over the line. Petrantonio bounced off a hit back in the other end there. As the puck is sent deep, Colgan can't slow it down. Around to the near side. Motor City looking to set up in the offensive end. They feed it in front. Here's a chance in tight. That one found the glass as Giuliano sent it high. He'll get it to the left point. Kept in there by the Rockers. Shot coming in. Fought off by Colgan. Rebound in front. Not out of danger yet. Puck to the right point. Milam. He'll let it go. And that one just missed on the stick side. Now it's cleared down by Doe. And it'll roll for an icing call. 46.4 seconds to go in the second period. 5-0. River Dragons in the lead. Face off to the left of the Columbus net. River Dragons able to bounce it out to center. Picked off there, Jamaif will fire it in. Babin will glove it down, he'll leave it aside for Wells. Half minute to go in the period. Wells out the left side. He'll leave it back in behind the cage. And out the right side, here's Koash. Koash tipping it on to center. Spins off in over the line. He'll send it towards the net. Deflected away by Colgan. And now a penalty as he was knocked down on the far side. And the River Dragons are going to finish this period shorthanded. Tripping the indication. And it's going to be Slahetka heading into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Time of the penalty, 1945. Second power play of the game for Motor City. Face off coming up to the right of Colgan. River Dragons start with a draw win and Bockwell will send it down the ice. Babin will leave it there. That's pretty much gonna do it for the period. So the Rockers are gonna carry over a minute, 45 seconds of power play time here into period number two. And the River Dragons get another couple. A debatable goal there for Storjahan. Did it come off the post? Did it go off the inside of the post and out? Hard to say. Certainly up here in the press box, I can tell you that the <laughs> Motor City folk have 
a definite, dedicated opinion on it. I actually did think perhaps it went off the post and came back out the other side, but and that's your difference between four nothing or five nothing. They say the goal counts, and so we're at five nothing now through 40 minutes of play. So both teams will head off into the locker room, and when we come back here for the second period intermission, which is brought to you by Shredaway, we will have a wrap-up of the scoring, plus a look back at that out-of-town scoreboard. So stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Six nine, ooh she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the window, to the wild, to the wild. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. That camera, by the way, is right here. If you lean uh, out the press box, that's that's over our heads. And uh, Carter's doing a little camera work for us. Hey, where's your camera, hey, Carter? You're doing a great job. First of all, thank you. We appreciate your help, and I just want to say, hey, you're doing a great job. Uh, but second of all, and uh, talk to us a little bit, if you will. I know that you're in a situation here where, uh, you know, you're unfortunately, you're missing tonight's game. We certainly want you back out there in the lineup. But let's talk about your season so far to this point. Um, I mean, everybody goes through their ups and downs, but right now the River Dragons have been winning games, finding ways to win games. I mean, but for you personally, how are things going and how are you finding this season here in Columbus? Uh, I think uh, all the boys are having an absolute blast. I mean, life is pretty good, 15-game win streak, and we're trending uh, to, to add more, more to, to that tally. So uh, life, is, uh, life is good. Um, yeah, definitely made the right decision to come down here. And, um, you know, we're, we're having a historic season, and, you know, we're, we're not done yet. we still got some work to do, but... Uh, I like the way uh, things are trending and how the boys are playing right now. Well, you know, and there is, and I know you weren't on the team last year, but I feel like there is that bit of sense of unfinished business from a lot of the guys who were here last season. 
do you get that sense as well as a newcomer knowing that, hey, you know, this team lost in the division final to Carolina. There was definitely some frustration about not going back to the Commissioner's Cup final. Uh, and just, you know, that, that sense that, hey, we can do more, we're capable of more. 100%. I mean, um, you know, there's a good handful of guys that were on the team last year. And, um, you know, a player who's played on, you know, any team that the year prior, uh, you know, they, they made good strides and uh, they got the taste and they got, uh, you know, a championship in the grass of their hands and the fall of short. Uh, I think next season for, for anyone is not uh, not being complacent, but they want to build. And uh, from day one, you know, you lock, walk into the locker room and, and it's all about winning a championship. And, you know, you have other teams and, you know, uh, take a, city, a team like Motor City who um, only a couple of years in the league and, uh, you know they're building and building and building. Well, we're not building. We're we're all in. And we got all our eggs in one basket, and anything but a, short of a championship is uh, a failed season. So uh, you, you feel it's not pressure. It's just uh, motivation and and a mindset for the boys that um, you know the regular season, as good as we're playing, um, and we're on this great win streak. It really doesn't matter in a, in a couple months from now. We just. Uh, we, we all want rings on our fingers. A lot of guys, it's our last season, and uh, everyone's bought in and, um, you know, putting the team first. So it's a fun fun group to be a part of and, uh, you know, a fun season to be a part of uh, for sure. You know, it's interesting. You kind of took that question I was going to follow up with about pressure, and you're like, eh, it's not so much pressure. It's more motivation. I yeah. mean, there's because there is a difference. You know, there is a difference there. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, we're just motivated to, to win, and, um, you know, pressure, sure, yeah, there is pressure because the team last year, um, you know, like I said, I didn't play for it, but you keep tabs on, uh, you know, guys that you know are played with in different leagues, and uh, you know how close they were, and um, yeah, you know, it's just, uh, don't want to go in circles, we, we're all focused on winning it all, and um, you know, pressure makes diamonds, you know, as they say, but uh, more for us, we just have to go out and play and, and have the eyes on the prize, which is winning it all. And, you know, if we keep playing how we have been this last couple months, uh, you know, we're putting ourselves in a pretty good spot. Well, and Carter, I can say you are our gem here in the broadcast booth tonight. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I appreciate you like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's good stuff. No, Thanks. it's uh, it's nice being uh, up here. I don't want to be up here to, uh, too, too much, but... Uh, uh, get a different perspective of the game, and uh, you know you try to you try to learn. I think every player wants to play, but when you're watching, uh, you know you you can learn a thing or two. So uh, I, right now I'm learning how to get the the zoom uh, down down pat and uh, get the the camera angles right, but. Uh, Add to the list of things that uh, you might have to do in the season. Which is difficult to do in this building, I will say. It's uh, pretty tight I get a problem because it's a lower building. I think if you're at somewhere like the Six Center, you just kind of have to go left, right, left, right. And, uh, yeah, I have no idea. Hopefully this is my last time, so I don't know if I'm butchering it, but uh, I'm trying my best. So yes, well, I hope, with me. I hope it's your last time, too. I'll be honest with you. But uh, as Boomer always says, and, you know, you ended up getting that aggressor penalty and, well, whether you think it's fair or unfair, and I certainly have my opinion about it, but um, those are the penalties that he'll tell you, hey, we'll take those, we'll kill those, because that's you sticking up for a teammate. A hundred percent. You know, I think a lot of the guys are the same way. Um, you know, mentality is, uh, you know, someone takes a liberty on one of our guys, and, you know, we don't have any goons on our team, and we have guys who... Are more inclined. You look at you know the Swan and you know uh, you know Dunks uh, today, and you know Balks likes to mix it up. And uh, you know we're the thing is we're usually winning hockey games, and we're focused on winning and not just uh, you know fighting all the time. But if it if it needs to happen, it happens. And I'm not a guy who drops the the gloves a whole lot, so I'm not going to say oh yeah it's uh, easy. I give a lot of props to those guys who who do it, but. Uh, you know, we're, we're a team tough rather than an individual tough team. And, um, yeah, you know, someone takes a liberty on someone or something. It's just uh, a part of the buy-in, right? You have other teams, you know. Um, I don't know if you have a locker room with guys that are filled with people who do that. And, and it's just, it was it was me, what that, like the last game or the game that happened, and it would have been any of us. I was just, uh, I guess, right place, right time, or wrong place, wrong time, <laughs> whatever way you want to look at it. But, no, we have an a unbelievable group of guys. Everyone's bought in like I said and um, it's part of the game and yeah don't agree with the <laughs> the call or the suspension but that's life it is what it is and you know uh, you just kind of move forward and look on and 
I'll be uh, I'll be happy to get out there tomorrow for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, Shanks, thanks for taking the time to come up here yeah, and join us. Absolutely. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate uh, it. All right. We're going to take a quick break, and we will come back with more here in just a moment. This is the second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway River Dragons with a 5 nothing lead, scoring wrap, out-of-town scoreboard, and more coming your way on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> my dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. Don't miss your chance to win at Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven. So come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around, and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I-85 exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. Columbus River Drag and Taki here in the second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway Tom Callahan here with you and let's go back and take a look over the second period scoring summary my thanks to Carter Shinkarik for joining us here we had a good chat and uh, like I say hopefully it's the last time he's on camera this season I agree with that 100 percent all right scoring starts at 622 with the second period Cody Wickline a power play marker for the River Dragons his 15th of the year and his 100th professional point and Ryan Hunter and Hunter Bersani, the Hunter brothers, not quite, but they team up for the goal. 6.22 and it's 3-0. Then Storjahan with a goal. They did it go in at 10.08. Storjahan's 16th of the season. And uh, that one looked like from up here it hit the post and came out, but the referee was on the ice. Johnny on the spot said it hit the inside pad and came back out, so the goal counts as 4-0. That one goes as unassisted. Then at the 14-minute mark, Josh Petrantonio, his 18th, and I'm sure that's one that Babin would like to have back, quite frankly, his 18th of the year deflects in off the glove of Babin. He just misplayed the catch. Doan Bersani, the assists, and it's 5-0 River Dragon. Shots in the period were 19-8 in favor of Columbus. Power plays River Dragons 1 for 2, and the Rockers 0 for 2 with the man advantage. It's time for us to now take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip, and Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. Right now at the Veter Visions Veterans War Memorial Coliseum, easy for you to say, it is Binghamton charging back into a third period lead with about seven and a half to go. It's 4-3 now, Black Bears as they've edged in front of the Watertown Wolves. It remains 2-0 now after two periods in favor of the Danbury Hattricks 
over the Elmira River Sharks. And the Apex Center, Mississippi and Blue Ridge are now tied up at one heading into the third period of that game. And the Carolina Thunderbirds have a 2-0 lead over the Baton Rouge Sinico, and that is also after 40 minutes of play. In the National Hockey League right now, the uh, Blue Jackets have pulled the goaltender towards the end of the game. The Sabres have a 2-1 lead with under a minute to go. And we'll see if the Blue Jackets can rally to tie that one up. The Jets have one nothing lead after one over the Blackhawks. Nikolai Ehlers, his 17th. And then just underway tonight, the Wild and the Oilers. And that one's actually about halfway through that first period. So that's it for the out-of-town scoreboard. That's it for the Shredaway second period intermission report. When we come back, it's time to drop the puck on third period action. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a moment. And this is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. You're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We are ready to get back underway here in the third period. And uh, I love it. Carson, Carson Andrioli's mom came by. Not only did she say that she brought all dress chips with her, which makes you my favorite right away off of that, but she's got her We Love Number 44 sign. I love it. We're all having a good time here tonight. Well, for the River Dragons anyway. I don't know about the uh, Rockers faithful. They're on the power play to start period number three here. And uh, the first 30 seconds, the River Dragons clear it down. 5 nothing Columbus leading to start things off. And this third period of action is brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. River Dragons after the puck in their own zone, and Andriola will jam it around the wall and back down the ice it goes. Rockers go up the right side, and they'll try to bring it ahead. Time ticking down, under a minute to go on the man advantage. 
Slahetka in the box right now. Here's Koash cutting to his right with a shot tipped in front. Nice save there by Colgan. Fed to the left point, Giuliano swings it over to the right side. Into the right wing corner, centering attempt, blocked back up top. Into the skates of Giuliano, he'll backhand it into the corner. Gill after it there. River Dragons pick it out, fire it down the ice. Babbitt lost his goal stick, going to play it. 20 seconds to go on the man advantage. Giuliano dumps it into the right side corner, and he goes in after it. Gill trying to get there first. Played on to the near side, looking for Delaney. To the left point, win. Feeds over to the right side. Cross ice, Delaney looking up top, goes back to the far dot. Back to Delaney, his one time, Colgan the right pad, save. Rebound clear to the line, but not out. Brilliant stop there by Brennan Colgan. Wow, what a save. And an icing call against the River Dragons as the penalty had just come to a close. Columbus kills it off. But what a stop by Colgan to start this third period. Bersani in for the faceoff here and across from Coash. Bersani puts a stick down, Coash wins back, quick shot off the faceoff, finds the glass, around it comes. And it's kept in Rotondi at the left point, puck pops up in the air. Fed to an open wing, Duncan digs over to the far side, he'll use the glass to get to the line, not out. Batted down and kept in, Motor City. Able to maintain possession here. Coash into the right side corner. Tried to leave it off on the wall. Bersani. Storjahan, the line not out. Shot coming in. Deflects back into that far side corner. Bersani. Duncan over there as well. They tie up on the puck. Duncan pulls it out of the pile. They'll try the near side. Here's Gill around to Slahetka, who is out of the box. And he does wedge it out. That means the River Dragons can finally reset their lines. 2.45 into this third period, 5-0 Columbus in the lead. Back the other way, Motor City on the right side, picked away by Moore. Moore ahead, left wing, here's Hunter moving in as McDonald with it, feeds it across, McDonald cuts to his left wrist shot, and that one tipped off the blocker of Babbitt. Back into the near side corner. Puck is flipped through the slot, and Motor City will elect to regroup behind its own net. Conway will take the puck back there, McDonald forcing him out the right side, Milam. Back ahead, and here comes Motor City to center. Conway in on the left wing, had it stolen away, and now McDonald picks it up off the boards right side and couldn't break free with it. Tried to feed it into the slot for Moore, and that's deflected away. Back the other way, here comes Wells, leaving it off up top. Chance over to the near side, a shot, Colgan to his right, the save. Rebound in front is pushed away to the corner. Nice chance in front for Tim Delaney. And Colgan came over to his right to make that save. And boy, I tell you what, River Dragons pushing back the other way here, but they better be careful. Motor City is awake here in this period. Chance in front is tied up and taken away by Motor City out to center ice. Delaney with it there. He'll just flip it into the right wing corner and head for the change. Here's Gill back on the left side. River Dragons to center. Doe. Dumps it in on goal, paddle down. It'll be held by Babin. He'll let his centers do the work with a defensive zone draw coming up here. River Dragons with Jamea, Doe, Petrantonio out there. Petrantonio's got a goal in this one. He's up to 349 professional points. Cody Wickline with his goal earlier, his 100th pro point. Several scoring streaks extended in this game as well, including the league record by Justin McDonald, now up to 26 straight games with a point. Rockers moving ahead on the left side. Here's Giuliano in on the wing, putting it in front. Tip right back the other way up top. Vanderwill with a shot blocked off Doe's shin pads. Clear to the line, held in by Wynn. Centering attempt is blocked. Heads up on the right side corner, and Doe Cannot get it out as Wynn stepped down to get to it first, but now it goes off Gill. Gill will flip it ahead. It hit Doe in the back, went right back to Gill. Gill at the line, hooks it in, looking for a little bit of help. Here's Jamea moving in, trying to get it across, could not. Left side, Doe 
Down for Wickline. Wickline up top to Gill. Gill has a moment. Rister through traffic. Tipped in a nice stop by Babbitt on the redirect in front. Jamaev got a piece of it, but Babin able to hold on. 5-0-2 gone here in the third. 5-0 your score. And the River Dragons with the lead over the Motor City Rockers trying to see if they can ride this one out and clinch a playoff spot. Back in the more of the Kinetic Credit Union third period in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. 502 gone here in the third period, presented by Kinetic Credit Union. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining me, River Dragons fans. Whether you're on the radio side, 106.9 really rocks. Or, of course, if you're on the YouTube side, we appreciate you sticking with us here in this game. The first of three between these teams here on the weekend. Tomorrow, 6.05. Sunday, 2.05. Motor City looking to push the puck ahead here. They'll bring it up the left wing. And it's turned right back out to center. Here come the River Dragons. Wick line the other way. Moving in on the right side. Looking in front. A shot. And they score. Sequoia Swan. How about that? Swan's got the goal. 5.23 into the third period. Hey, sometimes the interview works. <laughs> you know what's funny? Both times that Swanee's done the interview this year, he scored. Very first game of the year, first goal of the year for the River Dragons. He did it again here tonight, and he's got the goal. So I'm not going to take any credit, but I am going to mention it. Couldn't be happier for him. Love to see that guy just grinding away all season. His second goal of the year for Swan. And uh, it's great to see him score. Quick line will pick up the assist. And the River Dragons now up 6-0. An icing call there against Columbus. Faceoff will go all the way back into the Columbus end of things. River Dragons have more McDonald and Hunter out there with Bockwell and Slahedka. So I know a lot of parents are coming out here this weekend. A lot of player parents are here at these games. And as I mentioned, uh, Michelle Andrioli dropped by the booth a moment ago to say hello. And uh, I think Slahedka was telling me he has, tonight he has 12, but on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, he will have 18 family members here at Big Boy Arena at Priority Waste Ice. There's a shot from the off angle handled by Colgan. And Slahedka to center. Into the right wing corner, more chases the dump down. He'll cycle it around, but McDonald could not come up with that. Right back out to center it goes. Slahetko will push it back in into the slot for McDonald on the backhand of the forehand. He scores. How about Justin McDonald? Posting in on the glove side of the southpaw Babin. And that's his second goal, 25th of the season. And it now gives him the outright lead on the River Dragons. And in behind the play, our intrepid producer, Drew Pierce, and he is our producer. Uh, so the Babin just picked himself up an unsportsmanlike penalty. So the question is, is it two or is it 10? And so because of that, 
They are going to put Ryan Logan into the box to serve with the radio host. Okay. Or wait, is it a 10 minute misconduct? No, it's a 10. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. 6.08, time of the penalty. It is a 10, by the way. Motor City pushing in on the right side here. Puck ends up at the point, and it just bounces out over the stick. It has been a difficult night for the Rockers. No matter how you slice it, Babin gave one up earlier that I'm sure he'd love to have it back. Just uh, it's been one of those nights. And now here's Swan pushing on the forecheck. Forced the turnover, but lost the puck. Back the other way, Motor City will dump it in. A bouncer right in on Colgan, who steers it aside. Underwood around to the far side corner. Vanderwill holding it in down there. Behind the net, here's a chance up top. And it's steered away by the D. Andrioli up the right side, runs into a check, ran into the linesman. McDonald Slahetka, the only assist on the goal that's listed right now. And right now the River Dragons is trying to finish this one out here. Seven nothing the score. Columbus with a statement game here to open this weekend series against the Motor City Rockers. Quick line the other way. Try to walk it in. Bersani feeds it over. Storjahan pokes it into the right side corner. Storjahan. Down low, Bersani trying to cycle it back up towards him, but that was knocked away. Svintsov putting it in over the line. It ends up drifting down to Duncan. Send it around to Gill. Gill back to the left wing side. Storjahan, right wing lead to Wickline. Wickline turned away at center. Gill flips into space, left side. Storjahan takes a roller, dumps it in. And the River Dragons will change it up here on the fly. Eight minutes into this third period, 7-0 Columbus. Storjahan tips it away in the far side, and now he'll feed it ahead to Moore. Moore into the high slot area, walks around one. Kyle Moore in deep, rags it behind the net, tried to bank it in and put it into Babin from behind. Babin able to hold on to the puck. That would have been one of the more creative goals we've seen here this evening if Moore was able to pull that off. It's a good thought. Face-off will stay to the left of the Motor City Rockers net. And I'll tell you what, we are 11 minutes, 45 seconds away from the River Dragons declaring themselves fit for postseason action. Again, any single point here tonight between a Zydeco loss and a River Dragons win puts the River Dragons into the postseason, and right now both of those are happening. It's a shot in over the head of Colgan. Took a crazy skip off that back glass, went back up the far side. Fortunately, there was no Rockers player there to get it. Back the other way, here's Moore. Moore on the right wing, carrying it in. Cross ice feed. There's a shot save, Bab and a rebound, and it ends up back with Kyle Moore. Tried to kick it to himself there, and it's cleared away and out of the zone. Underwood quickly back, left side, Slahetka, he'll fire it in from center. Around the rim it goes, Milam. Milam up the near side. And that one deflected away. Underwood on it, over to the far side. McDonald fighting for it at center. Gets the turnover, steps in, Moore going to the net. McDonald, wrist shot, block. That actually hit McDonald, or it hit Moore's stick and knocked the stick away to the corner. Or did it? Was that a penalty? No, it was a slash that knocked that stick out of Moore's hands. And so slashing will be the call against Motor City here with 9.09 gone here in the third. Coash the guilty party. And it will put the River Dragons on their fourth of the Loft Power Play of the evening where they're one for three. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons tickets up for two for one admission, two for one cover, however you want to look at it. The Loft is proud to partner with the River Dragons for the first time this season. Here's Andrioli in the slot. He'll feed it to the left side. And he's looking to put it up top to Bockwell. Bockwell. Drifting to his left, over to the far dot, Underwood on it. Underwood cross ice, here's Bersani. Bersani up top on the line, Bockwell couldn't keep it in. 
That's going to give Motor City a moment here to walk it back in. They've got time to clear it down, and they do. Up the left side, here's Bach will in. Wrist shot and a left pad save Babin. Clear to the line, a rolling puck kept in by Slahetka. On to the left wing side to Swan. Swan into the slot, rolled away from Andreoli, cleared to the line and down. 105 to go and the man advantage for the River Dragons. 7-0, Columbus leads here in the third. Just past the halfway mark. Taking a slash there was Brody Duncan, he's all right. Right on the hand, now Slaheka from the slot, a shot again off the knob of the stick of Babin. That's the second time that's happened in the game. Puck on the right side, all the way up to the point, pass Slaheka down the ice. Store Jahan to Duncan, half minute to go on the man advantage. Store Jahan, left wing lead, and walking his way in is Jameev. Jameev in with a wrist shot, and that one is blockered away by Babbitt. On to the near side. Jameev feeding it across. Look at it back up top. He's got room in the slot. Jameev in with a wrist shot, and a glove save Babbitt. 9 05 to go in the third. 7 0 Columbus. 15 seconds remaining on the power play when we come back. This third period action is brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Save big at River City Swing Sets, your local Gorilla Play Sets authorized showroom offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons. I mean, the way I look at it is you were going to say that anyway. You were going to say, Go River Dragons. So just go ahead and say it and get your free installation. All right, well, we have a new goaltender in as Babin is being escorted to the locker room, um, perhaps against his will, with 9.05 to go here. So Ricardo Gonzalez is into the hockey game. So Babin must have picked up a game there <clears throat> as uh, he already had a 10. That was assessed earlier. And so, I'll tell you what, that's a heck of a spot to drop your back up into, but River Dragons with power play time ticking down here. Gonzalez in. Might have seen him tomorrow night anyway as the puck's cleared out and the penalty is over, but now. So, Ricardo Gonzalez is in. He's 7-7-0 this year with an 8.98 save percentage, 4.23 goals against average. And he has the last half of this third period. It is 7-0 Columbus in the lead. So, the odds of this being his game at any point to win or lose are long indeed because the Rockers would have to score seven goals to make it his decision. Columbus pushing in five on five here. Puck around to the right side is... Doe over after it. Wickline into that pile as well. Gill switching out behind the play. Puck around to the far side. Rockers lift it back towards the Columbus line. Bockwell battling to try to get it out of there. And it is kept in left point. Man in with a shot. Save made by Colgan. Brendan Colgan hasn't been super busy, but he's made a couple of pretty good saves here tonight. They keep it a 7-0 game. As the Rockers turning it up on the left side, tipped in by Conway. 
Colgan out to leave it in the corner. Underwood feeding it around to Sequoia Swan, who's got the most recent goal. And now the hitting in the corner picking up a little bit. Flung around towards the left point. Will it be kept in? And Wynn does get there in time to keep it in. Sends it around the right side. Tip towards the front of the net, deflected wide. Off the glass, up the far side, Bersani up with it. Here's Hunter Bersani to center. Bersani tried to split the D, it was slapped away. Right back in. There's Conway in with a drive and a blocker save. Colgan way out on the angle and he just punts it out of play. 7.06 to go here in the third. 7 0 Columbus in the lead. A reminder the Chick fil A Midland Kissing 99.3 Family Four Pack includes four tickets to a River Dragons game, four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, and four Chick fil A coupons over $100 in value for just $40. You can only pick those up at the River Dragons office. Call. 706 507 gold. That's 507 4625 or stop by during normal business hours. The next one coming up March 16th, Faith and Family Night. Puck in on Colgan, he covers that. And the final one of the year, April 13th, Fan Appreciation Night. Again, only available through the River Dragons office. Fantastic value, all yours for just $40. And you can buy those last two games at the same time if you want. Come on down to the office, we'd love to have you. Face off to the left of Colgan. Here's Lahetka back into the corner. And it's tipped ahead more off the toe of a stick, trying to push it ahead, and he had it knocked away. Vanderweel back in on the left side with a bouncer. Hunter takes that away, gets it to McDonald. Back to Hunter. Hunter free and behind the D. Walks in, shoots, save, rebound, he scores. Ryan Hunter puts it away. Good initial save by Ricardo Gonzalez with the right pad. But Hunter is there, and he puts it away to make it 8 Nothing, Columbus. Ryan Hunter's 19th of the year, second of the night. 13 26 time of the goal. Justin McDonald will pick up another assist here tonight. That should give him four points on the evening. 8-0 River Dragon, six and a half to go here. They drive in on the left side, Motor City into the Columbus end. I'll tell you what, I know right now it's not a good night for Motor City, but this, every goal that happens to go in between now and the end of the hockey game, if there are any more, honestly, this is just more motivation for the Rockers to come back tomorrow night. And this is not a team that's going to get beat up three nights in a row. So Motor City, I'm sure, will come back pretty darn agitated for tomorrow night's game. Motor City on the attack up the right side into the River Dragon zone. There's a chance in on the back. Can't save it. A penalty coming up. As pulled down there on the backside, and now Swan shoving and having some words over there with Fields. But penalty coming up against Columbus. They're going to be shorthanded with 5.35 to go in this third period. And it is Swan going to the box. Third power play of the night for the Rockers. Swan into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Face off to the left of Colgan. Vanderweel winning that draw back away from Jamea. Puck to the line. Rockers. Keeping it in, going to work here. Vanderweel trying to walk it in front. Puck flipped behind the net. Around to the near side, Koash. Up top, Milam with a shot. That's deflected out of play. Boy, both Andrioli and Jamea were in the shooting lane there. Nice job jamming that up. Yeah. 
5.20 to go in the third, 1.46 to go in the hooking call against Swan. Draw one back, yell after it, and he finds a seam. He'll get it down the ice. He's got 45 shots on him, or 19 shots on him. He's Up the left side, here come the Motor City Rockers. Into the slot, Conway couldn't receive the pass. Now bouncer that rolls free there, and it's pushed away to Andrioli. Andrioli up the left side to center. Carson Andrioli stops and had it knocked away. Now Conway back the other way, right side. Here come the Rockers. They look to set it up. Mile of his shot, save made. Colgan rebound to the near side, up the wall. River Dragons cannot clear. Kept in Koash feeds right side, a little too far ahead there. Love the. Cutting Svintsov, but now it's sent out, and down it goes. 49 seconds to go on the power play. Giuliano pushing it over the line for Motor City. Gets it back in the left side corner. Tried to center Delaney. It ends up with a right point shot coming in. Tipped on the way through, and that one did not make it on goal. Backhanded high in the air, and down the ice. Rockers power play continues, 24 seconds to go on the man advantage, just under four minutes to go in the third. Motor City pushing it ahead. Here's Wynn in over the line, leaving it onto the right wing side. Giuliano up top, gets it middle of the blue line, shot through traffic, and a glove save by Colgan. 3.41 to go in the third period. We'll take a break for the final time. Here's the River Dragons up 8-0. Back with more in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place. All on the go. The Kinetic Mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Yes, he is. 3.41 to go in the third period, seven seconds to go on the power play. Let's take a quick break, 10 seconds along the network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. Face off coming up to the left of Colgan in the River Dragons net. Seven seconds to go until Sequoia Swan is able to break himself out of that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. And the draw back to the point is out off of Storjahan. That'll do it for the power play. Three and a half to go into third, and we are now back to five on five hockey. Motor City. Up the right side, lead a little bit too far, thrown back in by Storjahan right over the head of Swan. I will say this, Motor City actually has a little bit more jump here in the back half of the third period than they have at any point since maybe the beginning of the hockey game. At center, here's Swan trying to turn it back the other way. Rockers curling back, Colton onto the left D side for his partner, Win. Three to go in the third. Stay tuned for our Pepsi Post Game Show. Three stars of the game brought to you by Wade Cleaners coming up. As well as a final look back at that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard. There's a chance in front, bouncing puck wide, and Colgan able to make that stop. Puck ends up at the right point, not out. Conway keeping it in on the wall. And Swan rubbing his man out over there. Pushed ahead to Bersani. Bersani to center. He'll go up the left side. Bersani driving on the wall. Koash on him. Backhands it in front. It goes out the other side. Wick line down for the right point. Can't keep it in. Back the other way. Here's Conway trying to cut into space. Conway over with a wrist shot. Colgan out to make the stop. And he'll hang on. 
And the faceoff will stay inside the Columbus end with 2.17 to go in the third. 8 nothing. your score. Rockers will host the River Dragons again tomorrow night, 7.35, and on Sunday at 2.05. Draw one back, Bach will on it. He'll send it off the glass and down the ice. Tipped out to center is Giuliano moving up. Play is offside at the line. That offside brought to you by Old School Barbershop. If your sides are a little off, get lined up by making your next appointment online at Old School Barber, S H O P P E.com. That's Old School Barbershop.com. You can also book online 24 7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Reservations highly recommended. Dumped in from center by the Rockers. Here's Bockle out the near side. I will tell you, I, I booked two weeks in advance for my appointment at Old School. And, I mean, number one, worth it. But number two, they are, they are busy. So, here's Doe moving it ahead onto the right wing side. And now a feedback in front. That was a little behind Andreoli. It's cleared out to center. Bock will. We'll pound it back in, right in on goal, and that one is stopped by Gonzalez. Ricardo Gonzalez is into this hockey game as uh, Trevor Bavin was booted out with about uh, nine and a half minutes to go in the third. Bavin gave up seven of the eight. Puck cleared to center. It'll be wedged back in, gloved down by Colgan. They'll just leave it aside to Slahetka. With under a minute to go. Bersani at center is pass picked off. Motor City steps back in on the right side. They'll try to make something happen here. Gulo with a pass to the front. Knocked away into the corner by Bersani as he picked it out of the air. Wrapped up by Milam in the far side wall. Gulo ends up with it. He'll feed it on to the left wing. Shot coming in, and that one is tipped behind the net. Milam around to the right side again. Puck kept in, and Motor City trying to press here in this final 30 seconds. Bouncer in front, sticked away by Colgan. Motor City still pushing. Puck deflects to the line. Not out. Long shot is blocked on the way through. Time ticking down here. 16 seconds away. River Dragons dump it down. Milam after it. 10 seconds to go. Gulo at center. On the right side. He will dump that one in wide of Colgan. And that'll do it. Brendan Colgan picks up his second shutout of the year and the Columbus River Dragons clinch a berth in the postseason and become the first FPHL team to punch their ticket to the Commissioner's Cup ball. 8-0, Columbus the win here tonight. And so it's time for us to step aside and push on in to the Pepsi Post Game Show. Stay tuned, more coming your way in just a moment. River Dragons win it. And the River Dragons. Postseason berth, check. We'll be back on the board in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Set the tone. Kyle, tie your shoes, tie your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Don't miss your chance to win at Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven, so come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around, and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I-85, exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older.
At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Your three stars of the game tonight brought to you by Wade Cleaners and selected here by the local media and house. And it's a River Dragon sweep on an 8 nothing win here tonight. Your third star with the shutout here this evening. 22 saves. Brendan Colgan, his second donut of the season in the 8 nothing win. Second star, Ryan Hunter. Hunter tonight had a couple of goals, a couple of assists for a four-point night. And your number one star, Justin McDonald, also having a two-goal, two-assist night. And so the River Dragons wrap up the victory here. 8-0, your final score. Those are your three stars of the game. Brought to you by Wade Cleaners, the official cleaners of Torch and Scorch. We'll take another break in this Pepsi post-game show. We'll wrap up that scoring for you. And we'll also take a final look back at the Selmo Zip and Out of Town scoreboard. More coming your way in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. I spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hello there, my name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. 16 games at Tim Horton's win streak for the River Dragons. Perfect so far in 2024 for Columbus. Let's go back through the scoring on how this one happened for you. We'll rewind all the way to the first period at 14:48. Ryan Hunter gets the ball rolling with his first of two on the evening. With the assist going to Justin McDonald and Kirk Underwood. So with that assist, Justin McDonald Thank now points you. in 26 consecutive games. That continues to be the league record for most games with a point. And you know what? I'm no signs of slowing down out of Justin McDonald, as you will see as we wrap up the scoring here tonight. And Underwood at 14.48 with the assist as well. And then McDonald gets on the goal side of the column, his 24th of the year from Moore and Hunter at 19.11. And it's 2-0 after one period of play. And to the second we go at 6.22, the only power play goal of the game for the River Dragons, Cody Wickline, his 15th of the season from Hunter and Bersani. And that makes it 3-0. Then Storjahan, an unassisted goal that uh, a little controversial. Did it go in? Did it not go in? It appeared at first blush to go off the post and stay out of the net. However, the referee down on the ice said it went off the inside pad and came back out of the net. He was right there on the goal line to make the call. But, you know, after uh, much discussion, the goal stood. Storjahan's goal unassisted at 10.08. Made it 4-0. Then Petrantonio, his 18th from Dome. Bersani at the 14-minute mark. 
and it's 5-0 heading into the second intermission. In the third at 5.23, Sequoia Swan back on the score sheet. His second of the season, his first goal since opening night of the season. Wickline and Andrioli, the assists on that one. By the way, Wickline's earlier goal, that power play marker, his 100th professional point. Then Justin McDonald from Nolan Slahetka at 6.08 and wrapping up the scoring at 13.26. Hunter gets his second of the night, 19th of the season from McDonald and more. Shots on goal by period River Dragons, 15 in the first, 19 in the second, 11 in the third for 45. For the Motor City Rockers, 5, 8, and 9 for 22. Taking a look, though, just to let you know the streak. So I told you McDonald now up to 26 with a point. Over that stretch, 21 goals, 38 assists, 59 points in 26 games. So just unbelievable the run that J-Mac is on. But Kyle Moore extends his streak as well. Moore tonight picks up a couple of assists. Now 15 straight games of the point. Austin Doe, a 12-game point streak, and now assists in his last nine consecutive games. Storjahan, who scores a goal tonight, is now at 49 pro and FBHL goals. Wickline reached 100 pro points here tonight. Josh Petrantonio had his assist streak broken, but his point streak continues on now to eight games for Petro. And also, uh, he's at 349 pro points. So perhaps a little history on the horizon for the captain, Josh Petrantonio, in tomorrow's game. Power plays, by the way, River Dragons finish one for four, and the Motor City Rockers end up 0 for three. We'll take a break of the Pepsi Post Game Show. Come back with more in just a moment. A final look back at that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard. Stay tuned. This is River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Just the two. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. Back here in the Pepsi Post Game Show, Tom Callahan here with you as the Columbus River Dragons 8-0 winners tonight over the Motor City Rockers, clinching a berth in the postseason. First team in the FPHL to punch their ticket to the postseason dance. All right, let's take a look back at that Zelmo's zip-in out-of-town scoreboard for you and around the FPHL tonight. Four other games. It's a final in Binghamton. The Black Bears 6-3 winners over the Watertown Wolves. Dan Barry is a couple seconds away from wrapping up a 2-0 win over the Elmira River Sharks as that game goes final. At the Apex Center in Withville, Virginia, we might have some overtime coming up. Mississippi and Blue Ridge are tied up at 1 late in the third period. The Carolina Thunderbirds, well, they had the same kind of night apparently. 8-0 over the Baton Rouge Zonico tonight. That is a final 
And so Baton Rouge officially eliminated, well, not officially eliminated from the postseason, but man, the River Dragons locked him out of first place. How's that? We'll go with that. And Columbus picks up the win here tonight. Let's look at the NHL, shall we? Only three games to tell you about. Buffalo Sabres do hold on for that 2-1 win over the Columbus Blue Jackets. Right now, through two periods of play, the Winnipeg Jets up 2-1 on the Chicago Blackhawks. Nikolai Ehlers has both goals for the Jets. Blackwell for the Hawks. And the Minnesota Wild out to a 1-0 lead in the second period over the Edmonton Oilers. Matt Boldy, his 21st of the season for the Wild. That wraps it up for us here in this Pepsi postgame show. 8-0 River Dragons win it. Tomorrow night, we're dropping the puck at 6.05 p.m. Eastern time. That means a 5.30 start to the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. Hope you can join us. Whether on the radio, 106.9 really rocks, or along the Internet on YouTube, at Columbus River Dragons. We hope you can hang out with us and, uh, you know what, have some fun on this weekend full of hockey action. Don't forget there's a Sunday matinee as well at 2.05 p.m. Eastern time. But the River Dragons start this 3-3 three and three off against the Motor City Rockers with a big 8-0 victory and clinch a berth in the postseason. Now, I will tell you that we're going to have some ticketing information coming up as soon as it's available we will have playoff ticket information. Keep an eye on rdragons.com. We're going to let you know the when, the where, how it's all going to work as far as the purchasing. Yes, you will be able to buy the block of playoff tickets before single-game seats go on sale. We'll explain all that in the next uh, week or so. But, again, uh, you'll hear it here on the broadcast. You'll hear it on the coaches' show on Tuesday nights, and we will have it as soon as all that information is set in stone and available at Dragons. My thanks to executive producer Drew Pierce, who's starting his birthday weekend off the right way with a big 8 0 River Dragons victory here tonight. That's it for the Pepsi Post Game Show. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This is Tom Callahan saying good night. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons, Zelmo Zip In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, the Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barber Shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus River Dragons.